In this video, we're going to look at how to add integers together. Now, in this video, the method we're going to use for each case are the rules that are on page 108 of your workbook. I'm going to do a follow-up video where I'll show you how to use a number line if that's the method that you prefer. But for this video, we're going to use the rules on page 108. So, for case one, we're going to look at adding two integers with the same signs. So the rule in our workbook states that if the signs are the same, we pretend they're not there, we add the numbers together, and then take the sign of the numbers in the question and add that onto our answer. So the way that works is we'll look at the numbers we've got here. We know that the signs are the same, so for the moment we'll just ignore them. So we'll say 2 plus 6. Well, 2 plus 6 we know gives us 8. And then we look back to the signs in the question. They're both positive, so we're going to put a positive sign on our answer of 8. So we end up with positive 8. Same case if they're negative. We ignore the signs for a second because we know they're the same. We add our two numbers together, 2 plus 6. That gives us 8. And then since we had negative signs on both numbers, we're going to add our negative in there. Okay, so that's how we do it. addition of integers when we have the same signs on both the numbers we're adding together. Now we're going to look at the next case when we have different signs. So the rule in our workbook says that if the signs are different, we're going to find the difference between the two numbers, which means subtract the smaller one from the bigger one, and then the sign of the answer is going to be whichever there is more of in the question. Okay, so in this case we have a negative 3 and positive 5, that means there are more positives than there are negatives, so our answer is going to be positive. So if we look at solving negative 3 plus positive 5, we're going to do what the rule tells us. We're going to find the difference between the two numbers. Okay, so 5 take away 3 will give us 2. That's the difference between the numbers. So 2 is going to be our answer. We look to which thing we have more of. Do we have more negatives in the question or do we have more positives? Well, we've got more positives. So our answer is going to be positive. For our second example, we're going to find the difference between the numbers. So we take the smaller one and subtract it, take it away from the bigger one. So we do 6 subtract 4, which gives us 2. So our answer is going to be 2. And we have more positives than negatives in the question. We've got 6 positives and only 4 negatives. So our answer, again, is going to be positive. Okay, so positive 2. Now for our last case here, we're looking at when we have the same absolute value. So the rule for that is that if integers have the same absolute value, okay, so if we just look at the value, which is 7 for both numbers, if they have the same absolute value, but we've got opposite signs, they're just going to cancel each other out to equal 0. Okay, so negative 7 plus positive 7 just gives you 0. The same will be true for any other value you stick in here. So if it was negative 3 plus positive 3, that's also going to give you 0.